Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampathy watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel and this is Poco X3 custom ROM reviews precisely. This is the Android 13 version, which one you already know, the Sierra Droid 3.9.1, sorry, the January 5th, 2023 is the latest security patch. Yes, it's not a February security patch, but it's fine in my opinion. When do your security patches on December 1, 2022? Kernel user is 4.1, 4.3, not for lineage OS. Kernel has been taken in this particular ROM build at February 11th. The latest build available for Poco X3 slash NFC flashing method is very simple. I will give in the description. Follow the same method I am using here 13.0.1.0 global firmware. That's the same you need to use in R2 get similar experience this is a typical app drawer and this is a home screen and this is a quick settings panel in the edit section you get again plenty of options here sync option is present as you can see and moving slightly here like uh, the uh, what the cpu throttling test you can see the maximum scores were like 189 and average 163 and 105 is the minimum scores what i got here it was a 100 threat test guys as you can see and 10 minutes 11 seconds i have run the throttling is 65 percent these days i don't know what's problem here in every smartphone with 100 threat test getting a little bit of throttling in the app actually but in real time usage i haven't faced it and this is the apps i have using and i need to benchmark and also you can judge the app opening time meanwhile as you can see 3,58,956 which is good and temperature raise was 0.4 degrees Celsius and battery drop is 2% during this entire testing in CR Drad 9.1 based on 113 and January security patch and going into Geekbench scores you can see here again as you can see the single score is 549 and multi score is 1538 kernel as i said before linux 4.14.304 lineage os kernel has been used scores are fine in my opinion because in avsp roms or this kind of roms you get a similar score safety net status what it would be let me know in the comment section guys it will get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay whatever you want to use those going to work fine in this particular room drm information level one certification is there or not yes it's available you can watch all the audit application in high definition resolution in this particular room the icons layout and everything will be little bit different to any other custom rooms i really like it differentiation should be there in this custom rooms that is present in this cr drive and you get this kind of game space here you get plenty of options you can add the game let me add the bgmi and go into settings you get use angle experimental is given preferred more has been given give it a performance and let's see how it handles and before that i have shown everything yes the camera application you guys know it i use this arno bell g cam as you can see again as you can see this is the version everything will be working fine i disabled some of the apps like android auto and the default camera you can you should do that actually then only you'll get a little bit of better bad life and why we need to keep the unwanted apps as it not and this is the settings panel you get here it's smooth here as you can see i can't say it's very very smooth but it is still smooth enough to use this settings panel even in the home screen as you can see on the quick settings panel the toggles everything is fine here but the experience is smooth i haven't faced any lags or whatsoever and moving into dialer here get typical share dialer make direct video call feature is available here again call recording options is also available that's how it is this is the share dot 9.1 based on android 13 for poco x slash nfc february 11th build guys and if you're first time to this channel you know what to do hit that subscribe button and also allow that bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video go and hit that like button and come back here now i want to show this audio effects here it's a little bit of experience will be improved if you use this method i mean in improve or use this play around this toggles it might get better audio experience enhancements you can do from here hope i covered here everything let's move into settings and here apps and these things will be similar to any other roms the battery and thermal profiles as you can see you can individually choose it out and battery usage you can see one hour 55 minutes ago screen on time of one hour seven minutes which is good battery saver you get again extreme battery saver is simply missing here battery optimization is given again here also per app you can select and battery temperature details 
could be seen here speaking about battle life it's very good i can say it's an all-round rom present for poco x slash nfc yes if you don't like evolution x rom if you don't want to flash some of the roms then you can come and flash this rom you will be experiencing very good uh, performance and even the battle life. battery uh, brightness level adaptive brightness all these things are working fine no problem regarding that screen timeout and again display size and texture uh, here it's fine tiny it's okay if you want something bigger you can customize them colors again i will keep it to boosted here it's a personal preference preview refresh kept to 120 that's it no other minimum if you want you can keep it to 30 full screen apps if certain apps is not playing in the full screen you can enable from here tap to wake is given tap to sleep is also enable default i mean display again if you want a little bit of battery life then you can disable that but we need to get notifications then you need to enable that per app refresh rate again given wallpapers and style again change wallpapers those things are present here wallpapers colors this combination of colors and even the basic colors those are plenty are given even in the basic colors the combination of cover is given dark theme it will be in pitch black condition i would have shown that in the display settings okay not a problem as you can see you get here use pure black theme then it will be in pitch black condition which is fine in my opinion and if i come back here security features you get face unlock and fingerprint unlock for time being i'll show fingerprint unlock face unlock is acting a little bit crazy but it's going to work fine everything is faster here no problem regarding that and you get this music application also i don't know anyone uses it you can use it but if you don't want you can replace with your youtube music spotify whatever you want to use you can use that accessibility menu which is a handy feature just use this without actually physically buttons you can access the volume and brightness if without sliding this you can access them it's a handy feature i am keep on telling in every video because some of the new subscribers or new viewers come to my channel they should understand these options are present in the usb roms that is present in particularly shared rom then you should definitely know that that's it i don't have any much options seen here system navigation again gesture navigation you get a pill radiant radius and length options some of the other options i really liked it the basic things kept very normal and very useful here other than that i did not see any problem as you can see how smooth the experience even in the recent apps it's very very smooth because of android 13 new update that's the case here and we'll see vgmi how it handles and what all the graphic settings we get you guys can see here this is the vgmi graphic settings and i want to show those options here dread settings you can see i enabled that high fps count here smooth plus 90 fps has been enabled in this particular rom you need to just enable that within a while i'll show you that and regarding this particular rom if you want to use it as a daily driver then definitely go ahead it's a very good gaming rom you will see within a while how is the experience in terms of gaming yeah you won't get any complete idea but little bit of idea at least if you can get then i will be happier and uh, you guys can see here let's go into boot camp only a long time people saying that unfollow the people i don't want because i want my subscribers yes they want me to do to this video i need to jump to boot camp you know what yes let's jump into boot camp yeah, let's go and uh, lot more videos yes i know banana droid and some other uh, rice droid those videos will be coming no need to worry once you have subscribed to me then no need to worry, worry about that because i have work xc device i will flash the roms definitely don't worry about that just takes a little bit of time that's it because i need to test them thoroughly you can see there are no much of a lag here and it's quite good and you can see here whether i get any gun okay qz it's fine at least in close range i can make it out let's see any players around me no that's the disappointment because i'm in some low level like bronzer silver because of that i can't show you 
completely what you guys expect from the video i mean in the gameplay at least the other things i have shown you more than expectation isn't it someone around me maybe the bot yeah two bots why do i want to go with them that's it this experience and uh, 33 watt charging support is there in this particular room and let's move and show you this settings what the sear dot settings you get again plenty of customization as you can see status bar icons clock style and even you can change the icon here everything is given here bluetooth battery status wi-fi standard roaming indicator mic and camera privacy in status bar whatever you want you get as you can see logo as i said you can increase here the logo will change here and battery style percentage battery bar is given quick settings again similar options here lock screen again you get customization battery information also you can see here uh, navigation you can customize some of the actions here buttons and moving into user interface wise monet settings those things you expect from any rom those all are present here notifications again there are customization sound again given miscellaneous if you want to use this as i said unlock ifs in bgma like games then you need to enable here unlimited photo storage also given these options you can check out swipe to three finger screenshot and about share i think now we have reached uh, a very good point of android 13 here now i can recommend this share droid 9.1 android 13 it's as good as android 12.1 share droid some of the versions whatever the roms uh, i think you get the point now it is very good android 14 developer preview is already live now the android 13 getting better here in terms of custom roms at least it's getting very very good now this sea android is one of the best example it's a very good performance rom and a battery life rom everything is very good now i can recommend this sea android rom and upcoming android 13 roms will also have the similar experience hope so at least and uh, that's it guys if you like the video give it a like and again subscribe to my channel you will get similar kind of videos we'll meet you with another interesting video guys until that keep smiling bye bye for now